Hello, Richard here, and today we're going to be installing Snow Leopard on this late 2006 MacBook. This is a legal copy of Leopard I bought from the Apple Store. And what I've done with it is, because this optical drive is a bit wonky, I put it on, I copied this to this USB thumb drive, so I'll be installing it off of that. It's a hundred, I did, I did copy it from the original disc, so it is perfectly legal. And, I guess we'll get started. Okay. Uh, yeah, but... <clears throat> I did buy, I bought this about a week ago from for the 20 bucks I bought <clears throat> for 20 bucks I'm not sure why Apple still charges for it because Mavericks and Up is free so why wouldn't they make all their others just a why do they still charge I mean Leopard you know what Snow Leopard I can understand but Lion because Lion is a digital download that's kind of unforgivable why it's, you still have to pay for it, which I actually did pay for a legal copy of Lion. That'll be in the next video when I upgrade this to Lion because you need Snow Leopard to get to Lion. So yeah, I'll tell you what, um, I'll come back when this is all booted up, okay? Okay, it's booted, and the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get into disk utility to format the disk because this uh, MacBook will not see the disk. Otherwise, I can show you what will happen. If you just say continue, you can see there's no disk in here. If we go into utilities, however, go into disk utility, we can see that our 128 gigabyte drive is right here. So, what I will do is we will erase it and do it in the HFS Plus or Mac OS Extended Journal, and we will name this Macintosh HD. Technically, I could call it Macintosh SSD, but, or SD, but, I just want to do HD for some reason. So, let's erase it. It shouldn't take that long because it's an SSD. And done! Now, when we close this, we can see our drive. Let's customize our thing. Okay. Now we don't need Rosetta. I'll install. No, we don't even need QuickTime 7 because QuickTime X is out. Let's just put in printer, full printer support. Just for shits and giggles. And, okay. And, let's start the installation process. Oh, I'm not connected to power source. Hold on, I'll go get my power cord. I'll be right back. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take you with me. Original power supply. I've s <clears throat> Which I will say again, if you haven't seen my previous, my previous two videos, I recommend you see them. I will put their links in the description. Okay, we plugged it in. Let's continue. Okay, this might take a while. So, I'll tell you what. I'm going to stop this video here, and I'll come back when something more exciting comes along.
Okay, the installation is complete and now we will be restarting the computer. Now I'll take out this flash drive. Well, no. I'll keep it in. I want to see what it does. Okay. Right now we're booting. That's a good sign. Right off the hard disk. See how long it takes to boot up. Hmm, not bad. Okay, that's a good sign. Let me hook up to my Wi-Fi and put in my super secret password. Hold on, entered it wrong. There we are. Configuring my Apple ID. You want to go into this in? Connecting right now. Connecting, taking one, and here we are. So, I'll tell you what, I'll go through, I'll get this all written in, and I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, I'm back, and I've gone through that whole ordeal. And now I'm going on to my desktop for the first time. See, I, hmm. Yep. Exactly how I expected it to look. Okay. So I'm gonna. <clears throat> so I'll tell you what, I'll end this video here, and on the next video, I will be installing Lion on this thing. Okay? Well, I'll see you in the next video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Bye.